Okay. I think that fixed everything. Oh. All right, we should be live again. I don't know what happened. Uh, we're going to skip that game. The best. That was weird. Uh, it fixed my computer, though. I think it was that game we just played tanked the bitrate so hard it, like, fucked with my mouse. Like, it was causing like 20 clicks a second. It was going crazy. I like genuinely I don't know what happened. Um so we're just going to skip that one. I'm just going to skip that. All right, well, um, that is really annoying because it apparently pinned, like, every fucking Sage folder to, uh, to, like, the Windows. Fix that later. Oh, that sounds awful. It does. All right, we're going to play Tacticad now. Oh, so we're out of S's now, are we? Well, we were going to be an S, but I had to skip that one. So that was the last S, but we had to skip it, which is... Sure. Not my choice. Whatever happens, happens. This one seems cute. Play as a cat. Got a gun. I think I played this last year. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, no visual. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there's delay. Yeah, you guys can see, right? Everything. Everything looks good. Things look like they're running smoothly now. Okay. Yeah, I I, I don't know what happened. Uh, that was really weird. It just completely took over my mouse. The volume is just low. Uh, yeah, that's on max volume. That's the Sage experience, though. I'm surprised we also had a game that was quiet versus the normal thing, which is... Absolutely blasting your ears about Sonic Adventure DX style. Uh, this game's charming. I like it though. I think I remember saying it was pretty good last year as well. It's a cute game. Was it you... here last year? Because I feel like I don't remember it, but... Yeah, the... I swear the cat with a gun like this in low poly was a thing. No, I don't leave you. That was neat. I like it. This really fucked with my setup as you couldn't if you couldn't tell already. Ale's Adventure is next. I tried this. 
This is great. I think I played this last year. It's pretty good. Oh, uh, this definitely wasn't here last year. Was it not? Yeah, this is something that just recently showed up. But this is me. I swear a couple years ago this was in Sage. It's letting me continue, are you sure? Huh. I didn't remember being it, it being there, but... It might not have been there last year, maybe two years ago? Maybe two years ago. Also, uh, we need uh, visual. It's still not on the stream yet. It's not, it's not showing up yet. Oh, all right. Yeah. Classic Sage. How about now? As it does. Uh, there we go. Not yet. Oh, there we go, there we go. It's Tails Adventure for the Game Gear, but way better. Uh, this game is like yeah. a Metroidvania, I think. Yeah. It's always been a neat game, because it's like the only Tails game besides Tails Sky Patrol. They just don't make Tails games. Yeah. But this one's neat. They made a full Knuckles game on a main console before they made a... a Tails game, which is kind of wild, considering. Yeah. Well... For a failing add-on to a console, but yes. <laughs> I just meant it was on the Genesis. Yeah. The 32X game, though. So. But, I think this remake is pretty neat. It looks like they've adjusted thing. Honestly, same, Dire. Uh, this version's way better. It's the same game, but, you know, polished. Oh, I mean... Tails moves a lot faster. It seems like they've adjusted the difficulty. Yeah, this game so... was really slow because it was a Game Gear game. Yeah. Or a Master System if you're weirdo. AKA Brazilian, I guess. Or European. Actually, with how late this game was, I'm pretty sure this was only Brazil then. Maybe. It's a cool game, though. I, I like it. I, I don't know if this is the kind of game I'd want to play in full, but if I do, I mean, I have a version. I'd do it this way. Yeah, I was like, I'd do it this way. It's good, though. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Oh, yo! Tails wins, oh eo, Tails wins. Bum ba dun 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 That's what the name of the the next game. This is a Sonic Rebel Blast 2 game. Unexpected. What? Chuck Yeager. What? Wait, what is this man who sold the world rendition? Hi, David Bowie. Years and years ago, I gazed a gazely stare. I spoke into his eyes. I thought you died oh alone a long, long time ago. Oh no. Not me. Sorry. Your face to face with the man who sold the world. The best is it the major version? I actually really like the major version. It's like my favorite thing about Metal Gear Solid 5, but also I really fucking hate. Metal Gear Solid 5. I have a very love-hate relationship with that game. I now associate that song purely with that game, because it is the theme of that game. Not not the musical theme. The entire theme of the game. Oh, it's Pilot Wings. Oh. 
Well, I don't think anyone was expecting uh, pilot wings, but tails. I sure wasn't. Oh, I've seen that, Sparky. I'm familiar with Trailer Park Boys. You don't have to send it to me. I've seen that show. I kind of love this. Honestly, I'm okay with this. This I controls this way better than Pilot Wings does. Yeah, I said it. I mean, I feel like that's not exactly hard to do. Yeah, we had we had to restart uh, my computer. Uh, one of the games fucked my mouse really hard. It was pretty impressive. Like, it just would not stop clicking. You, yeah, you were just kind of like, straight up broke, so. Oh. Oh god, what do you mean he has fuel? Why does this little boy have fuel? Apparently the story is he's a living helicopter, so... Oh, was that what it said? I was distracted by the man who sold the world. Yeah. <laughs> I was literally getting reading the plot. It's like, apparently he was in... He was in a coma, so, like... Whoops. Yeah, they actually give you chances, too, which is part of the, the good thing about this. To anyone out there who likes the original Pilot Wings, what's wrong with you? Such a terrible game. I mean, this you can like better. 64 in the resort, I guess. Yeah, no, 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 I'm talking about the original one. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden it was a Copa induced dream and Tails is actually a biological weapon helicopter for the US Army. But yeah, that's basically what the story was ended up being. I believe you. I'm going to choose to believe you, because that's funny. <laughs> that's literally kind of what they wrote. I'm, I'm good on this, though. It's, it's good. I like it a lot. I wasn't expecting something, a mod for SRB2 either, which is a rarity and a shock, so... Next up is Ameshi Sonic. Shut up, Windows. Uh oh, you might your computer might get a virus from this video game that nobody's played. Does it every time? It really does. I went through most of these earlier, which is why it wasn't popping up. I went through before stream started like fifty games. Sometimes you just need a really wild premise for a video game, and then nobody can question it. You're just like, oh yeah, 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 we, we know. We know. All right. Radiant Roots. what I have in my hair. Oh, well this is... Definitely taking the bases from CD. Is this Hatsune Miku? I would believe Hatsune Miku was in the song! Get to the top. Team rises to the top. Oh. I did play this one. Okay. I thought this one was mostly fine. Uh, 
I had a little issues, but I think it's okay. I see no issue. It's got Hatsune Miku music. She is really powerful. She's got the power of a god. So what we're saying is that we're sending this one to Aelita. I guess. Probably. I haven't even played Paper Aelita yet. I've been meaning to grab the download and I for gore. And now I'm moving, so I'm just like, don't care. I got, I got other priorities. Obviously, you grab it when you get into your new place, but... God, moving life is, uh, oof. Terrible. I'm just in, like, don't care for easy. everything. I'm just like, don't care, don't care, don't care. I cannot wait to go back to, yes, show me cool things. I have time now. Sorry, I'm a dog dad now, too, which which is also going to be very fun. It's going to be great. Love puppers. Odds. Fuck my dog. Well, okay, I can't physically do that. I'm, I'm letting you know, chat, I will have on cooldown, like, once or twice a stream, a, uh, a redeem when we get dog. It will be like, give dog treat. And I will, I will put cam on and you will get dog. Perfect. Once per stream. And if the dog is like, I'm not fucking interested, I'm just like, sorry bro. That ain't my fucking problem. This dog is too chill. Yeah, my, my dog will go gorp. That's the sound that the dog goes. Gorp, gorp, gorp. What you have to do now is make uh, make sure you have a pet the dog redeem, and it's like one of the one of the redeeming rounds. <laughs> when I plan to have a pet, they, they will not pet the dog, but give dog treat redeem. It's gonna be fucked up when I'm like, sorry, treat redeem has already been redeemed. I'm gonna have to be like, I can't believe I missed it. And it's on like three hour cooldown. So. I mean, you, you don't want to give more than one treat to a dog. That's how a dog gets greedy. Yeah, spoiled. Yeah, it'll be nice uh, once I move. Oh wow, this really is CD inspired. You were not kidding. It does seem like it. It definitely does. Are we done? You know, this is reminding me of Dalton. Uh, Dalton animated some uh, stuff like that. The in-between level stuff. Huh? Alright, here's a game I know we played last year. Uh, it got updated. Team Sleigh Bells. It's the reindeer platformer. This one was really cute. Look. Yeah. I definitely remember playing this one last year. I think it's pretty neat. Because I know about at least 
this one, if I'm remembering right, this is originally the team that was making like a Pac-Man World style fan game, but that kind of fell through. Probably. So this uh, this can the same feel kind of Pac-Man-y from what I remember last year. Okay, there's Charlotte the Reindeer, Vanilla Bee, Sophie, Scruffy, Nadine. Yeah, this is what I remember all these characters. They're all so cute. They're all cute, I like them. I'm not gonna play as any of the guest characters, that doesn't seem right. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I guess it's like Mario Odyssey, you get the Odyssey hat you throw. Seems that way. You talk to people, it was good! Oh, right. Yeah. the respect about having the little drop shadow when you actually jump, more games need to do that. I remember that talk last year. It's really cute. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Oh, oh flutter! <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, d I definitely recommend this one. This one is one I want to keep an eye out on. I really want that prototype endgame to release, because I would definitely, definitely stream that. Yeah. We're seeing some good ones out there that I'm definitely, like, really kind of ready for. One of the games I found in Sage years ago I've been waiting on was, uh, Delta Gal, and then it became Zeta Gal, but I think it's back to Delta Gal now. Do you remember that one? It was Mega Man Legends. Yeah, 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 I do. I follow the that. creator, and he's just, like, very slowly updating it. I imagine it's, like, slow work. Bye, Kiki! Oh, no. Hi, Tree. How's it going? There you are! That's you! Look at you, you're so small. And frosted with snow? Is that, is that the term? Frosted? Possibly? I think that one's more tip. Yeah, this one's good. Um, I highly recommend this one. I think we did the full demo that... last year, so like... I really don't need to I do think... the full game, but, you know. I mean, is just doing a level is fine, I guess? I, I think it's just one really long level, so like, I'm just gonna go a little bit longer. That's fair. Seeing this really wants me to have a, like, a new Pac-Man World style game. Definitely hoping for another one. God, I'm still upset that I played Pac-Man World 3 recently on stream, and then immediately played World 2. I had to do 2. And so it it's so off. bad. Did you try that on your own and be like, no, yeah, these are really the controls are so wrong. If you go backwards, you're just like, oh, I yeah. could try it. I do own both. You, I could you, do it. You play three and you're like, this isn't so bad. And then you go backwards and play two and you're like, no, no, this, this is, is awesome. wrong. This is so wrong. Invisible walls. Damn. What is this? A Mario 64? Love the stream. Thanks. Thanks so much. Hope you're doing well, Jackson. We check out Sage every year. It's the Sonic Amateur Games Expo. They've got cool Sonic games and then a lot of indie games as well. This is one of the indie games. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness was normal. It was the most normal of the Pac-Man games I played that night. And because that one's not a platformer. It's a puzzle game. It's the most basic bitch platformer of the Pac-Man games. Of the 3D ones, at least. It's normal base rule. You don't jump. Right. Yeah, this one's really good. Which means Definitely I'm actually surprised it. someone didn't complete the cycle and make you play World 1 the same day. I'm okay with that, because they probably would have just made me play the really bad game. You know, the, the GBA one. Oh gosh, why? I want the new Pac-Man world. Uh, I'll get it at some point. 
Repack is really good. It definitely fixes a lot of problems, which is why I really want Repack World 2. Halloween Reese's? Why would you buy those now instead of waiting for Cheap Candy Day? Cheap Candy Day is the best holiday, chat. If you don't know, Cheap Candy Day is the day after Halloween. Might be like... Ah, uh, yes, my favorite holiday, November 1st. That's a that's a real holiday, cheap candy day. Yeah, no. <laughs> Go out every year because it's fifty percent off. I remember when it was seventy five percent off, but they stopped doing that. It's commercialism. Hmm. One does not want to launch. All right. Well, I guess we're skipping it. Oh, well. The Super Mario Bros. movie, The Game, which is something I'm surprised Nintendo didn't do. Same with Sonic. I felt like... Yeah, I kind of expected either one to do it, and then either one happened, which I think I'm somehow grateful for. Oh, no. I'm so terrified of. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh Happen again? No. No, it's the universal intro. Oh. Every time I hear the universal intro, I'm reminded of Scott Pilgrim. You know the scene with uh, Lucas Lee where he cracks his head to the dun dun from the universal logo? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I think of that every time. I will never not be upset at how potentially incredible the anime could have been and it's really good but like by not doing it once a week and having people talk about it for a while and being like what could have been and what, what are the theories I, I, we're missing out and it's it's good but it's just not as good as i feel like it could have been yeah this, this is the movie i know where this is in the movie oh we're actually just we're going all the way huh yeah. They got Steve from Minecraft to be Bowser. Can you believe it? Oh, that's the sad part. What if, what if, where we're going what if instead of, of Steve, he, he they were like, who are you? And uh, his eyes start glowing white and he goes, I am Hero Brian. Oh my gosh. Game changer. God, what what happens to Jack Black? What what happened to him? He's just in like all the absolute worst movies lately. We keep putting him in all the bad game of tech adaptation movies. It happened with Borderlands. Did that happen with Minecraft? I think he, the no, sooner we actually ball, get the Mario sequel, like... the better it is for him. Bruh, they're, they're putting you in, like, all the worst things, like, Borderlands. There's no saving of that. Now, now, like, Steve and Minecraft, and I'm just like, oh, you're better than this. If if it turns out he's Hero Brian, I mean, that's fucking game changer. Code for Phantom 4 not good? I heard it wasn't. At least not I, I've great. only seen the original. I know you 2 is probably the best of the movies. 3's... Still pretty good. I haven't seen four, but I heard four wasn't the greatest movie. He's still gonna what he does? Is he though? Cause like I've heard Claptrap is like the worst character in a movie. Like people were saying he was worse than Jar Jar Binks. That's impressive. I, I believe people if they're saying that. Otherwise I'd be like, no, you're right, you're right. Because more, more, more often than not, I agree. I remember when Jack Black was in the NeverEnding Story 3 as the Nasty. Do you remember that, chat? No? You didn't even know they made a NeverEnding Story 3? Well, of course they did. It's called the NeverEnding Story, not the story ends uh, an hour and 30 minutes after the movie. Wild how that works. 
I don't think he likes being reminded of that role. Yeah. It is a very true statement. It is! Yeah, the movie's called Never Ending Story 3. They there there is a, a group of bullies called the Nasty. And then they're they're evil and they I I don't know, I don't remember, I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't good. But it never ends the story. Why am I going backwards? What? It's making me go backwards when I held the right. Okay. Now, like they said, it was going to be an adaptation of the movie. I didn't think we were getting the entire movie. I thought we were just going to start with Mario and Luigi. I thought so too. I thought I was gonna start with him going to mushroom, Dad. I don't want to eat mushrooms. Oh, gotta eat mushrooms to grow strong. Yeah, sometimes I it just reverses my controls. Oh. Right. Uh, I'm good on this one though. Uh, it seems promising. It's cool that someone's making a proper movie out of it. It's all right. Well, stuff. But... One of my favorites. We we play this like every sage because it keeps coming back in some new form. You know him. You love him. Give him up for the one, the only. I think I know where this is going. Give me a T. Give me an O. Give me an R. Give me a second R. Actually, no, that, I lied. Give me give me an E and then a second E. It's Tori. Thank you for adding one too many letters in there. <laughs> thought it was Tori. E. Yeah, I've, I've played this on stream before, uh, so we're, we're just gonna do one level. Oh. I think this is new levels, right? No, nope. just the same I played these, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what's new exactly, but it there were two levels. Last year we played a Christmas one. Tori is just really satisfying and it has a really good Saturn aesthetic. I guess that's why I call it Tori Saturn now. Yeah, it's made by the guy who made McBat 64 and Super Kiwi 64. The guy just keeps making good games for like a dollar. So it's like, why would you not get this game? Well, you've made like a bunch of different Tori games now, right? Yeah, like, cause like Tori really popped off cause it was in the um, haunted PS1 demo disc. The story behind that, was it actually supposed to be made for that? Or was they just like, someone just included randomly? Uh, I believe it was made for that because it had a creepy aesthetic to it. Okay. Yeah, like as you kept playing, it kept getting like darker and darker. And it was like, oh. I found this guy from McBat, and then I finally eventually played McBat on stream one day and was like, oh yeah, this game rules. Well, I think that's neat. Yeah, people making retro throwbacks like this are, are great, especially if it's like, yeah, it's a dollar, I'm just gonna keep cranking these out, have fun. No. This guy also was making tasty ramen. I don't know what happened to that one. The cute oh. ramen that chases you in the store. Huh. We're, we're overdue for a new Haunted PS1 demo disc. I'll probably do it at some point, whenever it drops. Which, speaking of, uh, Haunted PS1 demo discs, uh, primary game, Sauna 2000 is apparently, uh, 
getting a big update soon. It's coming into like early access finally. If you have not seen Sauna 2000 from the first Haunted PS1 demo disc, which uh, I did not stream any of, the, any of the Haunted PS1 demo discs until the last one, but uh, oh my god, that game was incredible. It, it is just a game where you are a Finnish guy who's prepping the sauna, and it's wild. <laughs> this game's good. Highly recommend it. Play this game. Probably like a dollar on Always. <laughs> so I need someone to just make, like, a haunted version of <laughs> Stop Mr. Domino for one of these discs. Power of Dreams. So, just climbing the tower to get to the dream? Is the tower made of dreams? Is it the dream world? Like, I don't know. Kind of have to, kind of have to specify here. Oh, I think I played this last year. This, yeah, I did. Do you remember this yeah, one? It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play as the tiny knight and you get a little sword and you, you got a lot of schmooze. Yeah, this one was good. I, I like this one. I don't remember this from last year. This was. Whoa! This was this... I upward. Very Celeste like. I still Whoa. never played Celeste. Cat, if I have to play Celeste or Hollow Knight, which one is is more worth my time? I have both of them. I'm just saying, if, if you, you had to pick for... one. Are you looking for a short? Like, something you could probably beat in the stream, or something that's probably going to take you a while? I don't care, I just think which, which one is the better game, because they're, they're games that I need to play at some point. I have a game Deep is forcing me to stream at some point soon. It's, uh, it's Tunic. Sam Sam, oh my god, happy birthday! I passed the fuck out earlier. Happy birthday, Sam Sam. Hello, happy birthday. Oh my god. Oh, is this Sam Sam? Happy birthday, happy everyone. Birthday, give, Sam give Sam Sam a happy birthday. Sam Sam, when are you badging Waluigi's Taco Stand for your birthday? No? No, 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 no. Is that, is that not today? Was that not today? Was I wrong? I thought it was. No, it's not. Never mind. Don't follow Sam Sam. Actually, still follow Sam Sam, but you know. I love that. All right. Yeah, this one's good. I like this one a lot, though. Listen, I've told the chat. The deal is, if I play Hollow Knight, you're getting Silk Song. Sam Sam, how was the stream, though? <laughs> Sam Sam's Luke is the out. one who's been holding some song hostage the entire no, time. No, you don't understand. Every time I, I'm like, I'm gonna play a game, we get new updates on something. Every fucking time it happens. It happened just the other day with uh, Yakuza, where I was like, it's talks like a pirate day. <laughs> and then we got the freaking pirate game. Yeah, we got the pirate game. It it is a right, working. So this strike. means if I have you play Shonic Shuffle. No, that's not how that and works. And eventually... <laughs> Come on! No, that's not how that works. This is also the perfect time to remind you about Joker's Moveathon. I see it going. Getting your money to a move. Okay, $7,500 will make him play every board of Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> uh, we had to the restart the have been aiming for this. Please. <laughs> Oh, this is a very Sonic Adventure game. Even the way their mouths move, look at the mouths. I know, these are animated exactly like the adventure models. The mouths move horribly, which is perfect. The way they move, like, idling. Yeah, this is Windmill Zone, right? Or Wind Windmill Hill, or whatever it's called? Yeah, this looks like, yeah, Beta, uh, beta Windmill Valley.
How is Sage going? Oh my god, Sam Sam, we found some really good games. We played a Choose Your Own Adventure book on stream today, Sam Sam. What would you have chosen? Which one would you have chosen? Sam Sam's like, uh, to not play the game and play a better game. It's okay, Sam Sam, the Choose Your Own Adventure book had some spinball music, so you would have loved it. Page 255, please. Oh. Sam 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 Sam. I love you. That was a lot of fun. That's some good movement. It's like, yeah, we're here, and they have very Sonic Adventure X animations and models, and, uh... They're even using the Sonic Adventure one stage from the beta, but, like... It feels closer to Mario 64? <laughs> Sam Sam, uh, did you badge the, the one Choose Your Own Adventure book on Retro Achievements? There's there's a DS Mario book that's on there, Mario's mix up, and it's it's pretty good. It's it's based on the official book. Someone just fan ported it to DS. Easy badge. Uh, definitely recommend it. You know, you just uh, just get it done. Just get it done. Just get it done. I actually don't know what that opened. Yeah, I love Choose Your Own Adventure books. They're they're a lot of fun. If this is Sonic Adventure, like it's going to be Sonic Adventure like this, I'm down. This probably feels more close to this than Spark uh, the Electric Jester did, where I think that wanted to be a modern game. This is just, I just want Sonic Adventure. Can you give me Sonic Adventure? Deal. I guess what I'm seeing here is that Spark was trying to kind of be like Sonic Adventure with It tried to be combat. a new Sonic Adventure. This tries to be yeah. exactly Sonic Adventure, which is why I'm like, hell yeah. Well, the level design doesn't really scream Sonic Adventure because it's a lot of floating platforms and like, not really I mean, a lot of we don't of know that. That's, this momentum. is just one world. Yeah. They're also really not pushing too hard on the speed. Like, got the Sonic Adventure aesthetic, and I'm like, I'm glad the aesthetic's there, but like... What's Microsoft save? You... <laughs> oh my gosh. I think the gameplay itself is trying to be something a little more slowly and methodical. Kinda seems like it might be a collectathon of some kind. Possibly. Sam Sam actually used to go by Microsoft Sam Sam, but uh... Yeah, people kept going like, oh my god, are you, are you the guy in my computer? And then he was like... I'm gonna give you the look. I'm changing my name. See, he gave me the look, because he knows it's true. Did they even have Microsoft Sam Sam in uh, Finland? Sam Sam, the question keeps popping up lately. You're, you're finished. I need your, I need your expert opinion on Remedy Entertainment. Does, has anyone actually played Alan Wake? Because every time someone's like, yeah, Alan Wake sure exists, it's like the one Finnish game people talk about. But I'm like, no, nobody's ever played Alan Wake. Who's playing Alan Wake? I've never met a single person who's like, I played Alan Wake. Probably someone must have. I'm convinced nobody has played Alan Wake. Yeah. I will not be oh, playing. How did he get a sequel? I don't know. Yeah. I have not seen. Everyone says I haven't played it, but my friend has, and I am inclined not to believe that because nobody has played Alan Wake. If you are watching this Your vod or the stream and you have actually played Alan Wake, please tell me anything about the game. I'm, I'm convinced there's a conspiracy theory that absolutely nobody has played Alan Wake. Your friend didn't play Alan Wake. I, I refuse to believe it unless I hear it directly from them. Friends aren't real. Because like 20 <laughs> different people have told me, well, I haven't played it, but my friend have played it. You played the original. Okay. What was it about? 
Oh man, the schmooves, actually. Look at this. It's pretty freeform, actually, once you hold the run button down. Oh yeah, actually. Yeah, this could be something really good. Look forward to this in the future. Alan Wake? No, it's not a real game. There's no such thing as an Alan Wake. Was it ever real? No. Getting my friend to watch streams is an impossible feat. Getting your friend to have actually played Alan Wake is also an impossible feat. This is how this works, I swear. Nobody's played this game. We're gonna just keep doing this, I swear. No, legitimately, so many people I've talked to are just like, I've never played it. Never played Down Wake game. And I'm just like, then how does this keep getting sequels? And like. Yeah, I was like, that's exactly it's what I was American like. It's got American Nightmare, it's got the sequel, so I'm like, it's got two sequels. Who, who is playing these games? Um... I don't know what I'm doing in this. This is a Game Boy game, by the way. It's a Game Boy game, and I'm just like losing it because like whatever is going on. Need to go to sleep. All right, Sam. Sam, I believe you. Definitely seems like one of those games where you just walk around and experience the weird world. I don't understand what the goal is, but, um, that was, that was Triku. Back to... Riot yeah, game. What's up there? You got 14 games. You'll never guess what the last one is. I mean, you will. It's... Really easy to guess. There's only so many options. Trio Triado, the game. I think this is a Brazilian game. You take a discard screen cap. No. No, because someone else tried that. I'm not. This, this is what I mean. It's just like, who is playing Alan Week? Someone has to be! There has like to I be said. people playing Alan Wake! Otherwise, this game would not keep getting sequels and remakes. I want to play it. Maybe one year we'll do it for Spooftober. Not this year. I've already got games lined up. I'm going to pirate the game just so I get the pirate hat. Which is real. If you pirate Alan Wake, you get a pirate hat. A little pirate eye patch. Okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah. It's, like the only like, thing I know about it's the not game. like in a strictly punishing way, it's just like, yeah, uh, we're just gonna do this. It's pirated. Sure. You, you pirated it, you know what you did. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the original game is good, chat. I don't know. The 360 is officially retro now, so you know. I'm gonna start a lot of fights with this. 360, PS3, Wii, it's all retro. I agree. 
They don't make games for them anymore. Well, that's not my jurisdiction. Just like... Everyone's definition is different. People are like 20 years. I think the reason the 20 years rule exists is because of... Uh, I've been watching Game Center, and apparently that's the rule in Game Center. Uh, they, they won't cover a game unless it's 20 years old. Apparently they're starting to cover GameCube and PS2 games. Hmm. Just Dance I would like to have 15. a word with me. I wouldn't be streaming Just Dance anyway, because it's not allowed on stream. That's heavy VOD mute. Get Heavily me illegal killed. for stream. Yep. It's pretty much almost any rhythm game, really. Yeah, rhythm, rhythm games the are ma the absolute worst genre to stream. I, I would say worst that isn't uh, illegal is, well, you know, uh, mumps. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's it. In one level. I didn't quit out. I, okay. I pressed select and then unpause and then it happened. Yeah. The retro rule for me is always 15 years. So, this means, hey, uh, in a little longer, I can claim the Wii U is retro. Technically, only have a year until I can say the 3DS is retro. I would stream a 3DS game under retro nowadays. Get some weird looks, but uh, I mean, they don't, they don't make them anymore. How are you? How are you getting those games though? Exactly. Sonic Unleashed. Oh, this is what Plus. I was curious about. So, is this a fan PC port? Is that what this is? It might be. Cause this is definitely the hub world for Empire City. But it's sad. No, I'm trying to look at the pretzels game. I don't want to look at Sonic's eight. Trying to get the camera in there. Mods. In my own mod. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Unleashed that they just don't want to port this game. And if they do, they need to fix the final level is the thing I hear about this game. I've never played Unleashed. I played the demo for it on the PS3 and that was... it. Well, I argue the best way to play it now is if you surprisingly have an Xbox Series X. Since... What? Huh? Games are backwards compatible. Uh -huh. What? It happened there. Yeah, I've heard Eggman Land is the absolute worst 3D Sonic stage to ever exist. It's just way too long. It's, it's not fun. It's way too long. Every other uh, bad 3D stage pales in comparison to Eggman Land. It's just like that stage could be cut in half and it would still be pretty bad, but like it would be a little bit more bearable. The first time I got to Eggman Land in the HD version of Sonic Unleashed, it took me 69 minutes. There's my favorite sound effect in this game, the doorbell. The first time Wait, I heard the that doorbell. in the demo, I was like, oh, hold on, someone's ringing my doorbell. Nope, nobody's ringing my doorbell. I mean, Eggman Land thematically is good. I just wish that stage didn't freaking take yeah, forever. Yeah, I can't read more about if the game plays well. Uh, everything I've heard is no, 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 no. Hey, Unleashed plays pretty well. Eggman Land just takes too freaking long. I don't know, maybe it's good. I always say to Fortnite. I think it's a decent game. That, that goes for me too. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'd argue, thanks to Sonic Boom Ride the Valeric, it gave me oh. more appreciation for the Werehog.
They're also. Going to assume this I, is I don't know why S the SD version of Sonic Unleashed like cuts the Werehog levels into chunk. Is that better or worse? Oh, it's worse because this, the squirrely is Sonic. He does control like that. That is. That is the case. The true New Yorker experience. Let me tell you something. As a guy from New York, have a ghoul. I don't know if I said squirrely. He's no kind of stiff, really. It, it had some weird quirks to it, but I think it could work. But the thing about the SD version of the Warehog level is it cuts it into chunks. It starts with you having to do like three chunks of levels and they're each like a minute or two long. But then the later half levels of the game start adding more chunks on. So like you'll do a day stage and then you'll get to the night version of the stage and then instead of just doing like three warehouse chunks, you'll do like four or five. Um Yeah, that's not fun. Fighting of school. Also, there are just straight up, like, actual levels missing in the SD version, because they got cut. Giovanni, James, Hoshida, Seshiro, Yukashi, Ichiro, Tatsumoto. Pretty good characters. Okay, I like the designs. They fit the Neo Geo Pocket aesthetic of the other game, which has been here for a few years. Evil Daniela. William Monarch. Dark Giovanni. Gotta be Dr. William. He's a Kuma. Right! Three different characters mixed into one. Wrong one. Fight! fight, fight. Uh, it's my turn. Please, it's my turn, game. It's my turn. Please, it's my turn. It's my turn. Oh my fucking god, it's my turn. Please, let me play the game. Oh, that We're starting to get to the Marvel 3 rule. That was you can't hit rude. once, you don't get to play the game anymore. I, I must be fighting Wazzler. Oh my gosh, the story continues. Do you want any Wazzlers in chat? Who out there Wazzling the Rurs? If you're Justin Wong, oh, uh, 1v1 me in this game, bro. Come on, right now. Ain't afraid. He's gonna beat me up, and he's gonna be like, "You're gonna learn, man. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking learn today." If you've not seen that MKX video? It's incredible. Oh. Where he just beats up a random child online. Uh, hey, welcome I's to the real world. A little brutal, but uh, I like it so far. Seems neat. Wrong. Yeah, I might come on a little strong, but. It feels like a Neo Geo Pocket fighter, which, you know, again, I'm excited about that. That cross-up, though. Crazy how easily that move cross up. Yeah, the AI is real brutal as you can see. You don't really get a chance. Uh, I don't really judge a fighting game on its arcade mode, because all fighting game arcade modes are like this. But I would say this is pretty good. Uh, it's definitely the kind of game where you want to play with a friend though.
Or this you can just a... be Street Fighter Five and not have an arcade mode for like two years. This is a shocking game to get a. Oh my god. This this is one of those games where it's fucked with Windows. Here's here's a fighting game with a lot of characters. Yuka, Ayako, Manama, Manami Kusunoki, Chihyo, Hiroshima Kyoko, Raimi, 250% Oh Tetsuko, a lot of Nana, 250% Ryuko, Megumi, Okumi, Asuka. Look, look at all these characters. There's a lot of them. Oh, it's one of empty plots. Oh, that's the Break the targets. Oh, that's my favorite character. Also, I guess Sonic and Blaze are here for some reason. The reason being it's there Sage. Alright, break this target. Oh my god, I am break the target. Hell yeah. I you can't break this everything. target. I don't think I'm actually playing. I, th I think I think I'm not playing. I think uh, I think this is a case of the AI is... Uh, if the AI doesn't break you in a minute, do you win that? I, I might win. I, well, I guess we'll find out. Can the AI break the three targets? Note to self, do not break the targets. Mods, break the targets. Thank you. Got it. So it's done! Yeah, I, I can't control anything. This is real funny. Alright, cheater. Uh, I actually can't... Okay, there we go. I will be Blaze. This is a lady fighter, so we gotta be a lady. Here goes. Oh my god, she's so tidy! This is unfair! I can't! I can't hit her! She, she knocks on my eyes, naturally! Yeah, this is, uh, this is very unfair. Was it more fair when I picked to break the target? Should have actually been. I think that's the funny part. Also, shout out to the monkeys in the background. <laughs> I don't actually. We're overdue for like Sonic. Be part of this. By the way, we we need a, we need a new Sonic fighting game because uh, Blaze as a fighter is. is Probably like the best character in my opinion in terms of like translating to a fighting game really well. I think she can be quick with a lot of combos. So. She's definitely a rush down character though. You look at this character and you're like, oh yeah, no, rush down. This mirror uh, is. Damage in this game very low. Or maybe it's because Blaze just isn't very good at damage. Oh, well, like. You got hit with a raw super and only did 10%, so. I'd argue damage scaling might be a little bit of a Yeah, things aren't really doing a ton of damage. I only need to do one round of this. This it's it's pretty good though. Why are supposed to be not? Alright. 
Yeah, this is pretty good. Alright, hopefully my computer goes back to normal now and I can actually see chat. The height of an actual cat was... Hey, oh, so much for that one. I really am never going to get tired of uh, complaining about games that really mess with windows and just move all the other windows. And I'm just, why would you do this? No, you were the chosen game. You were not supposed to do this. Only for them to have done it anyway. They do be like that. Oh, this one's doing it too. Hold on. Uh, am I going to have to display capture? I am. Ugh. All right. Sorry, chat. You're getting display capture for this. I know you don't like it. Hi there. Whoa, what the fuck? This is not how it's supposed to look. I can't change it. This is the only way to capture it. Well, enjoy. I, oh my I, can't, gosh. I can't do it any other way. This is the only way it works. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. I don't know why captures like that. There, is there like tricks or something that I'm missing? Not me, I'm not sure. There we go. Surprise snowboard. You know, I, honestly, I don't know if Sonic needed the boost in these games in general. I think some people really like it, but I'm just like, did he need it? Because they, they made boost, like, everything in Sonic when they added that. It has its place. I'm kind of fine where we are just now in Frontiers where it doesn't turn you invincible anymore. If he's invincible, then how come I can see him? Not that one. <laughs> the wrong one. But I don't mind it being a tool of, uh, of attention to just get a quick speed, or, like carry momentum. Yeah, I don't mind that. It just it just feels like they they really wanted every game to be about boosting. And when I bring it up, I'm just like, hmm. was this good for the series? Like, probably. I think it's fine. There's definitely a place for it. I think you also have a place without it, but... What? Alright, uh, I'm good on this one. Because this one's already really weird to capture. I'm sure you enjoyed capturing that one. Dad, did you like capturing that one?
Well, I wanted to do it some way. No, you wasn't the best way, but it was a way. Nice to be able to for real see chat this time. I said that last time, but like, I could actually see chat. Hello, chat. Kinda like Frog Girl. Ru, Kila, and Kaoru. Oh, is this a rhythm platformer? It oh! Is. Actually, I think it is! Okay, this is something that I'm going to be really bad at because everyone knows I suck at rhythm. That's from very bad right there. What the fuck is Mad Rat dead? Uh... It's also a rhythm platformer. I know you're a little slower paced than this one, but. Yeah, I, I don't do rhythm other than like. Uh, what was it? Hi Fi Rush was like the only rhythm game you'll ever see me stream. I'll get you to do rhythm heaven at some point. God, Hi Fi Rush is so good. <laughs> Not a game for me, but very neat. Yeah, I, I guess I played Necrodancer too. I might have streamed that once years ago before people really watched me. We got Company. The next game. Long ago existed a kingdom of music. Musical platformer. Oh no, it's a big band. I'm sorry, is this a Souls rhythm game? Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I think this is a Souls rhythm game. It is! 
is. This is kind of sick. Teddy might like this. I don't know if he likes a rhythm, though. Is, it, like, is there even a dodge button? I, I honestly don't know. We're not looking the truest sense, but it seems like you do have a dodge. It's a cool game. Is this for me? No, because it's a rhythm game. But is it cool? I dig it. I think it needs a dodge button, or if there is, it just wasn't working on my controller. Very cool, though. I like it. All right, get ready for charming indie game. I'm excited about this one. Witchfall. Op Hat Studios. I feel like I know that name. Not familiar. Very cute protagonist. There he was. Find all three portal books. Looks like a MMO I would have played back in the day. Very Maple Story right now with the art style. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, like Maple Story or Latale, specifically Maple Story. Yo, uh, who wants to join me for some Maple Story? We're gonna we're gonna do a jump quest. You guys want to do a jump quest? Everyone's crying oh, that I mentioned the jump quest. They're like, shut the fuck up, please, please, do not remind us of do not remind us of the jump quests. This means nothing to me. I never played Maple Story. Imagine a terrible obstacle course in a game about not doing obstacle courses. It was a two uh, game, so I'm not shocked they would have tried to incorporate platforming somewhere. It was it was very bad. It was it was very bad. It was really bad. You had to do them for quests, so it was like, oh, gotta do the jump quest, BRB. I'm gonna spend like two hours here. <laughs> of like my MMO experience started and ended with two town, so cool. Respectable. I, I would not say Maple Story was very good. It was fucking grindy. It was grindy. The game was aggressively grindy, like, oof, man, they wanted you, like, to grind for hours for everything. Find the secret street to go get the secret item that only drops 1% of the time from this enemy. It was, it was rough, it was rough. They helped with Frog Gun. Oh, that would be why I like this. Well, oh. me. That's not what I guess. When I grind you, this I shouldn't be shocked at all. This is really charming. I like this. This could this could definitely be a, a winner. When did you last play? Um, over like a decade ago, because it was when the game came out, and then I played it again years later. I'm sure the game is different, but I was just like, yeah, what a, what a grindy game. But they made a sequel, and then the sequel died. <laughs> so yeah, the I played the sequel. 
Uh, we we played the sequel here. There there are people here who remember the sequel, and then I played the sequel uh, off stream, and it was just like it, there was nothing to do in that game, and then it died, and they were like, nobody's playing it. I'm like, well, yeah, because there's nothing to do. There's literally nothing to do in that game. Maple Story 2 wasn't a bad game. It was just that there was no content. There was nothing. Do, you know what? Want to know the Maple Story 2 experience? Chat, they let you put any image in the game. Literally any image. They didn't do a check or anything. So I walk into an area, and there is a movie Thanos with giant purple cock just sitting there waiting for any players to come by. And I'm just like, hmm. That's, uh, that's a penis. This, this was a real thing if, if you played Maple Story 2. Maple Story 2 was, uh, it was bad. It was, it was really bad. They just, they didn't care. That was the level of care they put into that game, and then we're, like, surprised that nobody played the game. We gave you guys so much freedom. Yeah, Chloe, you played so with me game. back then, so you remember, we played, everyone played for, like, a day, and we were like, there's nothing to do. And then that was it, they just never updated it. There was just absolutely fucking nothing. I don't know how people released a game like that and then expected it to just be a hit. I've played a lot of MMOs in my time, so like I, I have a lot to say about MMOs. And if your game is gonna have literally nothing to do, that's before you transition. Whatever, girl. It doesn't matter if you transitioned. What matters is that you still felt the same about PD Piranha, despite my absolute fucking hatred. Why did I know it was exactly going in there? Yeah, I really like this one. I can see this being a, a winner if uh, if it gets like a Steam release. Oh, that's adorable. I like that. This game has a Steam page. Wishlist it. Wishlist it. What is this realistic fox? What is, what is this realistic fucking fox? Look at this. This is not the image I was expecting. Wait, we have a fox girl. We just get the fox to help with an actual freaking fox. Yeah. Maple Story was also really badly designed in regards to like the game wanted you to do quests. It was like. Go, go to the Lego area to go do this quest. It's a level one quest. But if you do it, you're going to fucking regret it because you're never going to be able to get back. And I would know because I was one of those guys who tried to do that. And it took me hours to get back. And I was just like, why the fuck do they tell you to do this? It was, it was just so fucking poorly designed. And I liked Maple Story for the aesthetic. And it was a good combat game with friends. But like... You never got to do the things you wanted to do because it was just so goddamn grindy that it was like, nope, sorry, I gotta grind in the whatever for like 30 hours. Pretty expensive. I guess I'm collecting lucky charms. Well, you're not hunting a roller con.
Charming game. Definitely recommend. Hi, right, Kitsy. I think it's I think good. It's just about over. But yeah, we got a boss. The Maple Story DS games? Uh, no arcade. Remember I said you could pick them if you wanted for a Thursday because they're not really RPGs because it's like... You could just kind of pick them. There, it's, it's not like there's RPG to them. It's just kind of play the game from what I remember hearing. I've heard they're terrible. I think you were the one who told me they were terrible. As long as it doesn't have a very slow start, I'm I'm cool with it being picked. The DS version, not any other version of the game. So if you, if you would like to pick that, uh, feel free to. You you know you just have to check if it's viable. Use your judgment. Such a charming game. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. So, things are great. That was Witchfall. Very good game. I don't know what this man is, but I love his face. Mr. Giza as World Land Man. What, what is this man's face? I love him. I don't even know. Oh my god, the CG animated. Mission 1 and 3, but I want to play Mission 2. Pour hot sauce into his cereal. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, it probably doesn't matter, Arcade, realistically. I mean, I don't know. Again, play it, play it and see if you need a translation. Oh my god, the wiggle on his nose. I'm just like looking at that. We're eating Pringles. This man is so upset about his Pringles. Oh god! No, what the? <laughs> oh my god! This is where people go when I ban them. I just throw them in the garbage like that. Also, oh my god, this face going from smug to worry to freaking dead inside. Too bad, he's only gone and locked the bloody door. Oh, oh god! Alright, this seems like a good shit post of a game. I like it. Yeah, if you if you don't if you don't think it's gonna be good, then that's that's fine. Come to Wonder Wand demos. I'm just trying to get it to show. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I guess I guess we're play capturing. Sure. Wow. 
That's very linked to the pasty. Do you swap with anything? I've played games like this. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder what this is gonna like. How is your beans? Uh, fine, actually. Thanks for asking. This is pretty cool. I like this one. Honestly, this puzzle is kind of feeling. Kind of feels like what they're doing with the new Zelda game, actually. It is. Maybe it's this before that. I mean, this game doesn't have chairs, though. You can't really, like, slam someone with a chair. something you have to apply specifically well. Good enough. This is cool. I like I like what you got to do with this. No wonder, Swan? No, because 90% of the game is RPGs, and, uh... They're all kind of just untranslated. Or, like, unplayable. Yeah. Or Mega Man and Base 2. Yeah, I'm, I'm not playing Mega Man and Base 2 ever again. Awful game. Wake me up when someone makes the Junji Ito Spiral game, uh... The second one, the one where you play as the Spiral and ruin everyone's life. It's, it's good, but like, it is late. Late is when uh, I, I don't do good puzzles. The brain cell's gone. No, it's, it's when, you, when you smooth brain, the wrinkles in your brain thing. swap with those oh. you cannot all right i think i'm too smooth brain for this one it's really good though it's good let me uh play capture xeno gunner returns is next we got a couple more games left see if i want to do the sponsor today if not i will say fuck it and do it another day Let me ask this, Dalton, are you around if I do the sponsor? Dalton's gonna be like, I might be. Uh, 
Uh, no music? There we go. Are you sure X and R stick? Oh, X and R stick triggers. The weird control scheme. Kind of reminds me of Alien Soldier. Not around to play anything, but what if I told you I had to hit a man tonight? Sorry, I don't understand. Oh, dash through it, okay. That was not clear. That yeah, didn't seem that clear. Yeah, I got the new Hitman 3 uh, DLC. They gave me the DLC to do one elusive target. And I'm, I'm thinking of doing a smooth brain elusive target. And who better to judge me than Dalton? B-list gecko. Oh, this is Gex. That fellow loves the freaking the boss names. Yeah, I guess this is kind of just alien soldier, huh? It just feels like alien soldier, which isn't a bad thing. I don't know if that's what they're going for, but like the impression that I get what I get too, and that's not exactly a bad thing. I think earlier so soldiers are hard. hard I, game. I would love to beat yeah. that if it was not so ball crushingly hard. It's so freaking difficult. I don't know why, but I mean I know why. It's... Look who made it. The trailer game, yeah, I know. A little bit of crate, yeah, I can see crate. No, that's Gex. That's him. That's what he's been up to all these years. That was it? That was cute. Yeah. I like that one. Gex apparently was working out. Gex was a little bit more built. He was bulking up. Be careful who you call ugly in middle school. It's a picture of Gex. And then it's, it's, here's the after picture. I'm curious when that trilogy re-release actually happens. Oh my god, I guess I'm gonna have to fucking try and get a key for that, aren't I? Unfortunately. Also means you're probably gonna have to start with the first game, so... Be ready for that. I have to play the third game still. I've only played the first. I need to play two and three. To be fair, I still haven't even beaten the first game. I might have to go back and do that for stream at some point then. There you go. There's there's an excuse to play a game on stream. I haven't played it. Maybe with a lot of games. I'm just like, no, nope, I haven't played it. Oh, I've played Gex 1 before. I just haven't beat it. I meant 2 so. and 3. Oh, well, yeah. That too. It's going to be a while before I get to that, though. Game well, right now. I've never seen four, this game so. before. Does this look like anything to you? Well, no, not right now because we can't see the screen. But. Oh my god, it's not it's not capturing even though I put it to yeah. hold on. I'm going to go crazy one of these days during a Sage stream because of how nothing ever works. 
Oh. Oh yeah, that's definitely. Surely, surely, familiar. surely, this has never uh, been a video game ever. Mm, surely, nothing has ever copied this. I mean, even the way you jump feels like zero mission, I would say. I mean, you know if this is for you already, chat. I don't need to tell you to play this. This one is a very shameless Metroid clone, and I think that's okay. I mean, it seems like it plays well enough. I was actually kind of thinking, like... Uh, Mummy D Master kind of came to mind for a bit. Oh my god, uh, I knew someone else. Was... Yeah. What a good game and terrible movie. Remember, chat, they, 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 they left the trailer up with no music or sound. You remember that trailer? Oh my gosh. So we're Tom Cruise is like, ah, ah, ah. Then he goes flying at the plane. I'm overdue for Metroid Prime playthrough at some point. I don't think it's gonna happen this year. I was gonna do the original game and then the remaster came out and I didn't want to do it. And I'm just like, eh, I'll, I'll get around to it eventually. I'm not going to save because we're not going to be playing this for long. Yeah, wow. This is this is just zero mission. I'm down. Ah, like straight up. Eddie. Hey gamer, how's it going? We got like two games left. It's this one and one more. Then, then I'm done. So, uh we're we're going to do the the cool sponsor where I have a giveaway to do uh so stick around if you want to win a copy of Hitman 3, World of Assassination. Because, uh, they gave me a copy of the game with the DLC, and I'm just like, I don't need this. Have you ever wanted to hit a man? What do I know the place? Going to bed, but have fun? Don't tell me what to do. Have yourself a wonderful night. Leave out milk for Hobbs? Like like Calvin and Hobbs? Oh gosh. Creature enters your home and eats your dust. I uh, can't say I'm familiar, but you know, good good for Hobbs. Right. This one's really cool, though. Uh, it actually crashed. Holy shit! Oh. All right. Okay. Well, okay. one more game. It's time for the right, finale so of Sage, and then we'll we'll do the sponsor of Hitman, a game I love. Smooth brain Hitman, you don't you don't want to see me smooth brain Hitman. It's gonna go real bad, chat, which is all the more reason you gotta watch it. Uh, only true gamers know about Yonoid. Oh, 
Of course. That's what we're ending on. What is the name of the game you just played? Well, it was called XGA. It's on the Sage page for this year. Yeah, welcome on in, uh, Raiders. It's a very early game. Lava Beef. The, the new zone we gotta do. You remember Lava Beef Zone? Kinda. Daddy, you, you played this game as a kid, right? You were like, oh man, I love the Noid. It's my favorite character. I'm eating pizza all the time because of him. I prefer the noise. Yeah, both of them are real and will hurt you. <laughs> They're not that old. This game only came out like a, like last year or two years ago or three years ago. Don't let these, don't let these gremlins anywhere near your pizzas. Yeah, it's a surprisingly competent Sonic 3 clone that we've played in the past, and yeah, they. Uh, it's got the Sonic 3 bonus game that I love. Oh gosh. I didn't need to be reminded of that again. Yeah, where you fart. You leave stink clouds around as you walk. But, yeah, you should grab like the pepperoni. Oh, boy. Yeah, they gave a save just for people who wanted to play the new content, and I'm like, thank you. See? Wild to think I'm friends with a guy who made Yonoid too. Uh, he's on my stream team. Hey, that's neat. Huh. He's trying to talk in human on that team, so... Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, that's terrible. W what terrible luck on the situation here. It was, yeah. I love the name of Lava Beef Zone, though. All of them have some crazy funny names. I'm kind of looking at the meaty jungle era. So. Honestly, the world just needs more Noid. Is that Sonic at home? No, this is the Noid! You didn't play Yo Noid 4? Episode 1 or 2? We need more Noid. I want more Your Noid too. Your Noid was ir unironically cool. really good. It was really good. It turns out uh, the guy who made it a very good dev. That is Sonic 3, basically, but if he was the Noid. Sage! I love Sage! We do it every year. It's fun. We find a lot of really cool indie games. Uh, it's one of my favorite times, along with Sonic Hacking Contest. I will be doing that. Apparently it starts next week. I don't think I'm going to do it next week, because I need to do a final stream before I go. So, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but um, that was Sage for this year. We got through it pretty fast.